We have done the impossible. We have brought Egyptian gods to plot one. We've done it, baby. We have brought Egyptian gods all the way to plot one. And I've built the craziest Egyptian god Yu-Gi-Oh deck for Master Duel you can ever create. It is seriously OTK based, but still good going first because of a few cards we added. And I'm going to explain everything in depth in this video. So if you guys are fans of the Egyptian gods, or if you guys are fans of Yu-Gi-Oh all in all, let's just say that Merrick, Kaiba, and Yugi, and all the rare hunters, they're in shambles now because my deck would destroy all of theirs combined if you guys like this video i want you guys to smash the subscribe button we're almost at 60,000 subscribers also I want you guys to smash the like button and comment down below right now comment down below comment down below for a special giveaway it's giveaway time comment down below who your favorite egyptian god card is and why and i will pick the best answer because there's only one answer baby and i'll pick the best answer and the winner will receive none other you guys right it's not an egyptian god mat because it's even better than the egyptian god mat it's even better it's a magician map baby the most beautiful magician play mat ever you could well be giving away one of these right now to a lucky member of the chat all you got to do is comment down below on the very best egyptian god card and why it's your favorite and don't worry if if you're if you suck at explaining and if you suck at storytelling and if you know i'm not gonna pick you it's all good because you can just go on www.tripgaming.com and get it anyway so it's all good baby let's go anyways something that you can't get on a website is actual Yu-Gi-Oh skills but wait a second you could get it on the website it's called patreon down in the description below so go check that out as well and time to check out my amazing patreon my amazing patreon god no well it is amazing but now it's time to check out my amazing egyptian god deck let's go platinum egyptian gods right here right now we have to rock one of each of them and the royal finish slifer baby it's so sexy we got the winged dragon of raw and i'll explain everything in depth and exactly why we played each of the cards the exact ratios of each card card and the reasoning behind each so let's get started so first things first crystal girl this is the best literally after the, the god cards this is the best card in the deck the idea of this deck is very simple you want to otk them you want to otk them you build you build the traps to protect your otk and all the traps synergize together i only have one crackdown i just so happen to only have one crackdown otherwise i would like to run three crackdowns i only have one okay so if you have three play three it's okay to play a little bit more than 40 cards that's okay you need to see trap cards so the idea of this deck is that you have uh, right now you have 17 offensive cards or sorry you have 18 offensive cards the offensive cards are all the monster cards and the metal reflect slime the egyptian gods kind of need another card to be offensive but all the other cards get the egyptian gods all the other cards get them so for example crystal girl will search guardian slime and guardian slime will search ancient chant and on top of searching ancient chant it'll provide a tribute fodder for the guardian slime so when you get the guardian slime on the field the ancient chant will add the wing dragon raw and then the guardian slime turns into Met Egyptian God Slime, which is incredible, and the Wing Dragon Rod gets tributed over it three for one, one card free tribute summon. That's why the Egyptian God cards work, simply because of Guardian Slime, mainly because of Egyptian God Slime. So what Crystal Girl does is searches Guardian Slime, and you could after a very important part of this effect, which allows you to do nightmare combos to ensure your Wing Dragon Rod OTK, is if you go into Crystal Girl, uh, you'll add. But then on the following turn, if you control a level ten Aqua, you could special summon this and add again, and it's a free monster to add with. What Reactor Slime does is during a, a special two tokens but the main part it uh, sets a metal reflect slime from your deck or graveyard the fact that it sets it from your deck or graveyard is why you should only play one of the traps so this card uh, acts as three monsters in the field to tribute as well to link on the second turn if they survive on top of that gets you a metal uh, reflect slime one of each guard card because they're literally the most base cards in the universe and i wouldn't have it any other way what are you gonna do Re remove a slifer for another trap card what are you an eldritch player no we are egyptian god players slifer will eat golden lord for breakfast and obelisk would literally shit in golden lord's mouth bro they're not they're nothing compared to these absolute legends right here i will not ever put any other card in here other than these three always keep these three replaying egyptian god deck otherwise you don't deserve to play egyptian gods uh and then these three you only need to play one of each you don't need to play sphere mode uh i'm you could if you want but in my opinion and platinum there's too many like there's too many sky strikers there's too many elders there's too many trap decks to merit me playing a sphere mode if you want to play sphere mode it's insane because obviously it gets a wing dragon a raw and uh so it's pretty cool 
each enchant gets the wing dragon a raw also gives you an extra tribute summon and helps you play around skill drain there's combos with skill drain in this deck with ancient chant which is searchable by literally 10 cards in your deck crystal girl searches this which searches this prosperity searches all of them three six seven eight you have 11 ways to ancient chant so what ancient chant does uh when you tribute something wing dragon a raw it allows wing dragon a raw to gain the attack of all the tribute summon monsters so under skill drain wing dragon a raw still gains at least 3000 because of ancient chant obelisk is guaranteed 4000 and addition god slime is 3000 so skill drain is super amazing in this deck and you play three prosperity search to search them all don't play extravagance because typically you need two egyptian god slimes per game and extravagance i think there's a 30 percent chance to banish two of them i'd rather just not risk it prosperity uh i know it sounds crazy but of course advantage is nice in this deck but not really like like as long as you could stop your opponent from playing with all your trap cards that's why you're playing so many the trap cards stop for your opponent from playing and then you kill them ring of destruction is super imperative in this deck the reason being is that uh, a good player will know like let's say you search guardian slime via prosperity or via crystal girl they'll read this card and know not to attack this card since they know they're not going to attack because that's how guardian slime triggers sometimes you'll need to trigger your own guardian slime and you do that by ring of destruction so since ring of destruction is searchable by trap trick you have six ways to trigger your, your guardian slime without on the on the end phase of your opponent's turn and it's really easy like that torrential is good compulse is super good because it's versatile storm duster is also super required there's a lot of times where i would wait with storm du you need a pop back row with this deck you have six storm dusters you have to otk i i have cl a clip man and it's really heartbreaking i got magic cylinder for eight thousand for seven thousand seven hundred damage with wing dragon raw i was at 100 life points i was gonna attack him for game with wing dragon raw and he magic cylinders me for eight thousand uh traps are important removing traps are extremely important so that's why you need to play three storm duster three trap trick for that reason ice prison as well the one metal reflect slime i'm just gonna put some of these names for the people who don't know this is crystal girl this is reactor slime if you don't know any of these three delete this like block me up tell comment below if you don't know what these three are so i could block you from existence i don't even want to know your name guardian slime ancient chant pot of prosperity ring of destruction torrential tribute compulsory evacuation device heavy storm duster trap trick ice dragon's prison metal reflect slime skill drain this is crackdown and i said i only have one crackdown i went through crack without crackdown the entire platinum run but uh i highly advise play crackdown crackdown not only stops your opponent uh, interrupts your opponent from playing but it gives you a free tribute fodder this is very important sometimes you're forced to tribute some in your own guardian slime and by tributing some of your own guardian slime this is just a quick combo you go into egyptian god slime adding ancient chant ancient chant add wing dragon a raw ancient chant effect tribute summon one more time that turn tribute summon the wing dragon a raw gain the three thousand and gain eight thousand life point uh, that attack it jumps to eleven thousand so there's this crackdown is actually super important uh three egyptian god slime without question everything else in the extra deck is irrelevant all you need is three egyptian god slime that's literally it nothing else matters in the whole extra deck it's nice to have nightmare cards i would believe nightmares is the next important i'll get the nightmares as well this 2300 guys is nice to have because sometimes you want to tribute summon your egyptian two egyptian god slimes and your code breaker uh, like if you have two random monsters in the field that's 8300 ancient chant would give wing dragon a raw so literally if any mon monsters in attack position any monster they could have like a 4000 attack position monster doesn't matter wing dragon arrow gain that 8300 plus 8000 of its own that's 16000 for wing dragon a raw it's a very basic deck you literally just set up a wing dragon a raw combo of course honestly don't remove slice of life for an obelisk because uh, unless you're a virgin you could remove them if you want but this would be a wing dragon a raw deck here this sets up a wing dragon a raw otk but it's a lot saucier to otk with obelisk and slifer as well that's it for this video with the new change of the ranking i will work to move this back up the plat i will go to plat one with this in this season 100 i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys got this far and if you guys are egyptian god lovers make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to smash the like button videos like this every single day videos like this on patreon to train you guys how to play better at mass duel go check that out and check out the people playing match down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace